What's going on, YouTube folks out there, Facebook friends, people of Black Junction TV? My name is Adamir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. And I appreciate all you who have tuned in because this isn't a movie review or uh, anything like that. Um, just as you read in the description, these are my thoughts on the movie Harriet. And I'll be up front by telling you guys that when I first heard this movie was going to be produced, I was extremely happy. I was uh, already conjuring up in my mind, you know, where we could go to watch it, you know, what we can do, how many of my children I can have with me. I, I, I was trying to make it like like I did for Birth of a Nation, Nate Parker's uh, story about Nat Turner. I, I was I was I was ready to do that. And then I started hearing murmurings about how Cynthia Erivo, who's the actor, this person you see on the screen, uh, she openly mocks black Americans um, or American descendants of slaves. Now, she's playing a foundational black American. She's playing the role of a foundational black American, but she's out here talking trash or mocking uh, American descendants of slaves. I don't get that. And then they, I started hearing about the whole Comcast deal and they're trying to do away with our civil rights. One of these bills they have proposed going to do away with a rule. And I'm just like, OK, you know, while all this stuff you guys trying to pile on. I get it. You know, maybe I won't go to the movie theater. Maybe I won't try to make an event of it. But I do intend on seeing the movie. And then. Then there was this. So. I grew up hearing about Harriet Tubman, right? Uh, where I grew up at in, in, in Roosevelt, New York, that's on Long Island. You were, you weren't able to go to school without knowing some sort of black history because they had murals posted all over the place and, and they made sure to educate the children uh, about black history and black history month shit just went into overdrive. You understand what I'm saying? I got to hear about the underground railroad. I got to hear about the Negro spirituals that were used as codes. I got to hear about how you needed to follow the drinking gourd and the old man is waiting just to carry you to freedom. Follow the drinking gourd. And it, it, my, if my memory serves me right, Whenever they did depict, uh, uh, you know, that particular song, that particular Negro spiritual song, uh, the old man was a white man. White people helped. Right. But the idea that you had a black bounty hunter, that's that never came across our desk. That never came across our literature. Never did you hear about these things. And I found people online already excusing it. Talking about there were, there were documented instances that you had black bounty hunters out there. Okay, can you show me the documentation that shows that there were black bounty hunters going after Harriet Tubman? And even if that be the case, what was the percentage? You're talking about a woman who, who headed up and down uh, the, the, the East Coast, more or less, uh, of the United States of America. And she did that for, for the remainder of her life from the time she got free. Set hundreds, I want to say it was well into the thousands of slaves free. That is the legend that was Harriet Tubman. She didn't just do a, a once and done. It wasn't a once or twice thing. It wasn't let me go get my cousin here and my uncle over there. It wasn't none of that. Like she was, it was an ongoing thing. Yeah. You had, you had white folks that are ready to help. And yeah, you may have had a black bounty hunter, but what was the percentage where you decided that, you know what? Let's go ahead and make this black man, the main antagonist. And I don't know who produced this film. I want to say that, that, that someone made a claim as a black woman or black man or whatever. It doesn't make me no difference at this point because you're not acting any different from a white person. You could have gotten a white person to produ produce this film and gotten very similar results. 
Hell, a white person might have respected Harriet's name a little bit more than to do this kind of fuckery. You get a black man to make the black man the main antagonist of your Harriet Tubman film? A black man? Really? And there's folks out there co-signing this nonsense. And I can't co-sign that. You took what was a, a, a percentage of a percentage and made that the reality for this film. And then you know who actually saves Harriet at the end of the day? It wasn't it wasn't bigger long. It wasn't a black man who decided he was going to turn the cheek or whatever. It was the dude next to him, this white man next to him. He kills bigger long to save Harriet. And for all you folks out there talking about, oh, there's no love interest and this ain't no hero stuff. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that crap. I'm really not. I'm really not. They could have done better with the whole entire thing. It is clear that this is propaganda. It is clear that you got all these folks from the Roland Martins to Michael Eric Dyson's, the Ava DeVernay's. You got all these folks out here. They're all in it together. They, they like the Mexicans that are, we're in this together. And they're all together against black people. Now, I say black people, I definitely say black men in general. Because you're going to have children who go in there. I can't tell you how many posts I see where folks sitting there talking about they're going to bring their children to see this movie. You even have one white woman to say she's going to bring her entire class to come see this movie. And that's why I'm scared. Because I just got done telling you a couple videos back that I felt that there was hope for our youth. But this person, Lil Tay, ruined it for me. And she writes, I love the Harriet Tubman movie. It opened my eyes to so much. For instance, not all Caucasians were ruthless. Some helped free slaves. Okay, Lil Tay. All right. Okay. Some blacks that had freedom was just as bad as the Caucasians. Harriet had so much belief and faith in God they were one Lord. I pray for that. Now, I'm not sure what the hell she was trying to say at the end of all that rant. But really, you're going to have children walking out thinking just like she's thinking. Not all white people are bad. And, that, and, that, and you know, the sad thing, that's something that should go without saying. I don't think I've done any video where I say all white people are bad. Now, I don't necessarily... Uh, trust myself to have any kind of conversation with any white individual. Nah, when it comes to like the topic of reparations, I ain't getting into that because I already know that they're going to be predisposed to saying hell to the no. And it's just some as far as uh, uh, um, that goes where you just got to push it. We push it. I say my piece. You say your piece, we disagree, let bygones be bygones and, and just keep it moving. But I don't sit there and try to uh, 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 validate uh, 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 white folks. Like, I, I'm not sitting here trying not to be offensive to white folks. And in the same vein, I'm not of the mindset that all white folks are bad people. You had an entire underground railroad, which was basically uh, one of the first networks of people right you think about it like that where folks were helping out black folks and that's to be commended and appreciated but damn where the hell was you little tay where you act like this was something new like this was groundbreaking information and the fact that she came out here thinking that blacks had freedom and they spent the time turning around uh, uh bringing slaves back in that's crazy and the fact that you chose a black man. And that, that's the part that really rips into me because it's more of that whole uh, straight black man or the white people of black people. That whole thing. And you're wondering why we're having such a hard time bringing up our own children in this putrid, foul world of ours is because we are getting attacked on all sides, even by our own the person who produced this movie couldn't even help themselves. 
Now, I personally should have probably known what was up when I saw that Janelle Monet was paying or playing a role in this movie. Because Janelle, Janelle Monet doesn't really go out to get a role. Folks go to Janelle Monet because they know that she's going to bring a certain brand of fuckery with her. And, and they know that she's not necessarily black first. I don't know what she is, but she ain't black first. Last time I saw anything with Janelle Monae, she was uh, in, a, in a vagina outfit. She was literally in a vagina suit and her head was the clit. That's the type of shit that this woman is on. That's who they chose to bring in because they already have an understanding of the type of BS that these kind of folks are on. So, yeah, they're going to bring them in. And I should have known better when I seen Janelle Monet in that. And look at the name, Big or Long. You know, I could probably spend another hour just speaking on that, but I won't. I've said enough, but this is crazy. So you mean to tell me black man is free, but he's only free to go out and, and, and chase slaves and he's just as bad as the white folks. Now, I won't necessarily disagree with that. I don't agree in the sense that this character, Bigger Long, as fictitious as he was, I'm sure he was one failure away from a lynching. But from the point of view uh, uh, of someone who's been enslaved and running for their freedom and they get captured or picked up by this black man and taken back to the slave plantation, they're going to view that black man as being no different from the next white man. So I, I kind of get that. I kind of understand that. Needless to say, it's still foul. It's still fucked up. And it's messed up that we're leaving an imprint on our children and our children's children. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I hope that the movie flops. But I do know that, as I stated, between the Roland Martins, the Michael Eric Dysons, and all the other folks out there who are jumping on this bandwagon and they're piling on to make sure that black folks are made aware that this movie is out and encouraging them to see it. I personally hope that it flops. Now, here's the score from Rotten Tomatoes. Now, there's an updated one because I want to say as I'm speaking, uh, uh, you have verified ratings numbering well into the thousands at this point. But the score is still a 98. So whatever, I'm not going to have a cow about it. If they're verifying that people bought tickets and whatnot, then that's cool. Let them do that. But you got everybody out there trying to portray this movie as the next big thing for black folks. And the truth is, is that it's far from it. Far from it. I used to talk a lot about how we need to build and own and control. Shout out to New Black Media because this isn't a concept that I conjured up on my own. I kind of always had an idea of where I should be moving forward. But um, needless to say, the movie is trash and I hope it fails and I hope it has as little impact on black society as possible. That's what I'm hoping for at the end of the day. I make this video basically to acknowledge, to just put it on the record that I do not support this film. I do not support the actors. I openly detest the idea that anybody would decide to make this kind of film and think that it's okay. Because it's not. It is not. And black folks, we need to start getting sick and tired of being freaking sick and tired. Because this is a slap in the face to anybody who is self-respecting. A straight slap in the face. You have no business playing a foundational black American. They had no business taking that foundational black American story and twisting and contorting it to where you have a black female lead with a black male antagonist. 
and, and, and this media blitz that you guys are trying to push online to encourage everyone to just be on it when it comes to this movie. I ain't buying into that either. And I hope the rest of you don't either. I could rant on for days, but I am going to leave it at that. I really am. I would hope you guys let me know how you feel about this. Because I, I think it's... <laughs> anyway, you guys let me know how you feel about the situation. Lung Yaw One here. Peace.